we're going to go ahead and get into uh, the weather. And let's talk about what people can expect. We were talking about the cold. Mm -hmm. Would you rather have Alaska for two weeks yeah. or the brutal heat for two years, Jesse? My, listen, some of you are going to get so mad at me. Uh, Here the we heat. go. The heat. The heat for two years. Yeah. What about you? I, I think I have to agree. I, the cold is miserable. I did that. You know, I lived in Indiana for a while. I lived in Kansas City for yeah. a while. Like, I, I like it cold every so often, yeah. but I got I to gotta stick with the heat. Yeah, and we don't know how to act in Texas when it starts snowing and icing up, right? That's exactly right. <laughs> and even when it's not icing up. Oh, that's true. Uh, 54. Now, you know, drops. you've driven in a, a, a sprinkle or two, and people lose it. Oh, they uh, lose it. Never <laughs> The highways here are aggressive. 54 at Cedar Hill. Uh, it's sunny. It's a nice day today. Uh, for the record, the high today was 56, which is the normal. The low this morning was 34, which is just two degrees cooler than normal. Uh, we did not hit freezing at DFW, and that's where we keep the records. So it's just for, for consistency and record keeping. Many folks in North Texas have seen several freezes. DFW has only seen two. 56 right now. North winds at 17 miles an hour. Uh, your weekend forecast looks really good. 62 Saturday, 65 Sunday. That's New Year's Eve. And that shift in the winds from south to north, that's a cold front that gets here Sunday evening. Late afternoon for some of you, Sunday evening for the rest. Let me show you the timeline. So this weekend, a lot of sunshine, a little bit more cloud cover on Sunday, though. That'll be ahead of the cold front. There it is at 8 a.m. Northwest of the Metroplex at 8 o'clock in the morning. There it is right across the heart of the Dallas Fort Worth area at 5 p.m. And then it'll clear North Texas just after that. So no rain with this one, uh, but it does turn breezy and it'll certainly get much cooler too. Let's take a look at your New Year's Eve planner. 54 at 7 o'clock. By 10, we're at 45. By midnight, 41, some in the upper 30s. And with the breeze, it'll feel a little bit cooler than that too. And our next chance of rain won't get here until the day after. New Year's Day. So New Year's Day is dry, then a weak disturbance will roll in from the southwest. And there it is. It'll pick up some gulf moisture with it. Heaviest rain right now looks to stay in far south Texas, coastal areas, and even into the hill country. But here in north Texas, we will see a little scattering of some showers, heavier totals to the south of the Metroplex. But overall, this system does not look significant for our area. Tonight, 32 with clear skies, cold and dry, light winds tonight, a bit warmer tomorrow, 62. It's going to feel pretty good with sunshine, south winds 5 to 15. I think tomorrow is an excellent day. Sunday looks just as nice before that cold front gets here. You'll feel a huge difference between Sunday, 65, Monday, only 48. That's what the cold front will do. 51 on Tuesday, 52 Wednesday. We have a couple chances of rain in there. Tuesday, 30% coverage. Friday, about the same. And then it's just like every, you know, every few days we have that chance of rain. So Tuesday, Friday, then the following Monday with temperatures staying pretty close to normal over the next 14 days.